All right, where did I put that? Good grief. I can't find anything in here. I, I don't know. Oh, cool. In this episode of Extra Info, uh, I, I want to sh give you a derivation of the cosine of the sum of uh, two angles. Uh, it turns out it has uh, quite a few applications and not just in the places where you think you, know, you would be applying it. I, I first want to, you to take a good look at this diagram uh, that I've included. Um, it's of the unit circle and I have a couple of triangles drawn in it. Uh, one of these triangles is uh, well, the, the, the angle A and a right triangle denoting it, uh, the one beneath it denotes uh, the, the angle B, and uh, they've all, all of the interconnected triangles have been drawn with a purpose to, to make the proof flow quickly. So let, let's, let's get started on the calculation. Okay, the first thing I want you to notice from uh, the, the diagram is that because this is the unit circle, that the, the cosine of the angle A plus B is equal to exactly uh, the length of the line segment OQ. Okay, also we want to notice that OQ is equal to the length of the line segment OU decreased by the length of the sine line segment QU. Okay. Also, okay, uh, that because they are on opposite sides of a rectangle, uh, QU is equal to uh, the length of the line segment TR. Okay. Now, as I said, the, these uh, triangles are drawn so that everything flows pretty nicely. I want you to see that, that OU is equal to the length of OR times the cosine of the angle B, and that TR is equal to PR times uh, cosine, excuse me, sine of the angle B. Okay. And, and, and oops, right here, this, I said, I think I said B, but I wrote A. Uh, so that's cosine B there. Okay, now OR is itself equal to uh, uh, the, the cosine of A and PR itself is equal to the sine of the angle A. And so I can piece uh, together that OU is equal to cosine of A times cosine of B, and that TR is equal to sine of A sine of B. And therefore, that the, the cosine of A plus B which is, as you recall, equal to OU minus TR, it will be equal to the cosine of A cosine of B minus sine of A sine of B. And it all comes from just a nicely uh, put together uh, diagram. 